Hi guys, my name is C. I'm a stickman creation artist and I'm here to talk to you today about what it's like to be an artist and work in a non-artistic field. So it's sort of a tutorial and basically um, to begin with, if you're an artist that's for example working in let's say the medical field or you're in the tech field or something like that, it can be kind of hard. So if you want to balance your art, let's say, or if you actually don't have time to do anything remotely artistic, that can be pretty difficult. So basically, the thing is that you actually want to just focus on what, what's your main objective like for the moment. So if, let's say, for example, again, since if you're like in the medical field or something like that and you actually want to paint, um, you need to actually really weigh your priorities. You know, can you do without painting or is that like your, your ultimate goal in life? Is it to like just, you know, paint things that, uh, for people, hang them up on their wall and stuff like that? or is it to be a surgeon so you can like have a hobby but you just have to make sure that you basically balance it correctly you don't want to spend so much time on your art that you can't focus on your primary job and you don't want to actually lose your art and um actually focus too much on your job because otherwise it's just like really depressing. So what I would recommend actually is just doing both. Like if you can, for example, at the end of the day, focus a little bit on whatever artistic things you do. Um, just like even if it's just 15 minutes or something like that then you'll probably feel better than if you like don't do it at all maybe and then all of a sudden like at the end of the week you know you you decide to just like let everything go and just you know only do art so it's best to maybe just do a little bit at a time and then it actually depends on how you work and what you're working in so I can tell you from my personal experience that if you're in the tech industry, you can spend like 15 hours a day coding or something like that and you're not going to have time to like work on your art at all. So what I do is I actually doodle like a lot. So I have like this notepad and everything and whenever I'm stuck on a thing I start doodling. So if you like drawing and things like that, that's like really your focus. It's great to just have a notepad and just to get your ideas out. So as long as like you have an outlet and then the thing is also like, what do you call art? You know, if what you're doing for you is really, it's like it, if your job, even though it might be viewed as something that's not artistic, like maybe it might be viewed as something that's more mathematical. Well, maybe for you that's like a form of art. So then it gets kind of relative. But if you feel like you have to do something that is generally viewed as artistic and you feel like you don't have time for that, well, you can always find a moment so that you don't actually lose your main job. There's always a way to, for example, just like taking out 15 minutes in the day, or you could do like 30 minutes a day out of two or something like that. But as long as you have a way, a, like a place to put your creative energy, you'll probably actually become better at your main job because you won't feel like you have all of these sort of like pent-up ideas so you have to just 
the main thing is that if you have a way to like get your ideas out and another thing you can actually do is talk to somebody about it so if you have an idea you can just call someone or if you're on a break time or something like that if you have a break you can actually talk to someone about it and that really allows you to like focus and put everything that you know in perspective and that definitely helps so if you can find a way to actually communicate with someone and they can the thing is that they'll actually give you feedback which sometimes actually makes you question you know what you just came up with you'll think like yeah this is an amazing idea and then all of a sudden like all of a sudden somebody says something and you think like well it wasn't that great <laughs> so you know as long as you um you have like a place to put those ideas and then the thing is that you can always go back to them later like when you had that little inkling of time or something you can always go back to your ideas and one thing that you just want to make sure of is that people you shouldn't let people discourage you from creating art just because you're in a field that's not artistic and you should remember to if if anybody does discourage you you know you should just remember to always for yourself that it doesn't really matter what they say and you know because your art is for you and so for example if you have something if you don't actually have the time so maybe your job isn't even in a field that's typically that's just opposite to art maybe it's not maybe you're not like a mathematician or a math professor or something but maybe your job is like if for example you work in retail service or something and you just don't have the time to actually do whatever it is you want well you kind you might feel tired around the end of the day but then again there's always the idea of turning things around of writing your ideas down of telling somebody else of recording your ideas you know, you can record them with your phone, you can make a video or something, you know, and then if you are feeling really down because you feel like you can't get anything done, you just need to remember that there's always like that one thing that you can do. There's always that little bit of time that you have. So you can be in line somewhere and you can come up with uh, with some idea or something which is why you should probably have a notepad or something if in if ever you're waiting at the doctor's office or you know wherever it is you are when you think oh I'm wasting my time right now then that's time that you could be using for your art um if you're on any social networks or something you probably know that those take up a lot of time so you could limit your time on social networks you definitely should because people spend a lot of time on that and it does take up a lot of time in the day so you can use it to share your work that's true but you can also use it you know to just talk about your day and maybe maybe if you actually do that less then you'll have more time to create so, you know, maybe I shouldn't be saying that, but you know, there's always a moment that you have. And you can also definitely find other people like you who feel like there's no time for their artistic uh, creations. And you guys can, you know, just talk about your ideas, interact and everything. And that really like gets the ideas going and everything. So if you have any other ways to focus on your art or if you have like any suggestions or anything, well, just go ahead and comment guys, you know, or make a video, show it up on Stickman Creation. Oh yeah, and one last thing. Um, so if you've noticed maybe the website has changed a little, 
there have been a few things that have been added. So now you can actually sign up and you can share your images, your videos, and your writing. And all of that gets critiqued by the members and everything. So if you want your artwork critiqued, you just go on stickmancreation.com and you can help other artists. They will help you. And you can also promote your work. So, have fun, guys.